Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I am John Lodone of a Dragon House. Today, right next to me, we have Tony Charles, officially signed, will be competing on our upcoming event, November 13th, at the heart of San Francisco, Kizar Pavilion, John Low Cage Fighting Series number two slash Mongo Fighting Championship. Now, Tony, let's introduce you to all the MMA fight fans out there. Who are you and where are you coming from? So, Tony Charles, come from San Jose, from LAK. Just turned pro this year, ready to rock again. There we go. Now, I think you are one of the most, having the most amateur fight uh, <laughs> guys out there to make the pro lead. Yeah. Um, now, you have a very similar physique opponent, CJ Blackman. We just signed him two days ago. Uh, now this fight's on at a, uh, at a 205 pound weight class and I know you prefer 185. What makes you think you wanna go up to a one weight class of, to battle with CJ? Well, I fought at 205 before, so it's, 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 it doesn't really matter to me. If anything, it's more advantage, no weight cut. I can just, just focus on preparation. So what, 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 do you, what weight do you walk around? Right now, I'm about like 210. So oh, that, you literally don't have to cut anything. There's no weight cut. No weight cut. No skip cut. breakfast. You're already on weight. Eat two breakfasts. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now you're against a guy almost as similar your physique. Six foot four, very tall and lanky. Got the John Jung Rich. How do you prepare for this upcoming fight? I have plenty of big guys in my gym. I fought big guys before. CJ is another person. So no disrespect. Fought CJ before. If that makes sense. <laughs> so, so how uh, how do you see this fight is gonna go down against CJ? Uh, well, I I believe that uh, it'll be a good fight all the way around. Um, everywhere the fight goes, I, I just feel I'm better. I feel I'm better. Point what point. would you prefer to take this fight? Drown him on the ground, striking with him. I know his strong point is a stand up because he's a really tall and lanky guy. How do you see yourself like in a perfect world? How would you like the fight go play out? Well, when I, when I assess him, uh, he's got his strengths. Uh, he's a powerful counter striker. Uh, in the clinch position, he's very physical. You know, in top position, he's smothering. But in all those areas, I feel like some step better. So if we were to keep standing, I'm gonna win. If we get in the clinch, I'm not gonna stay there for too long. And if it gets to the ground, I, I feel I'm better. I'm a better fighter than him. Sorry. Nice. Well, I can't wait. So now, a little bit about yourself. How long have you been practicing uh, to doing martial arts? Uh, it's going on, it's about nine years now. It's uh, nine years this month. Uh, I've been training uh, martial arts in general. Started off with karate, transitioned into other stuff. Eventually, MMA in 2015. Like you said, I had a long amateur career. Almost 14 fights. That's a lot of amateur fights. It's a lot of amateur fights. And you fought a lot of top dogs in the Bay Area as an amateur. The who's who. Now, do you see yourself after this fight going down to 185 again or stay with 205? I'll probably go back to 85 unless another opportunity presents itself at 205. Honestly, right now I'm just looking to get active. Uh, last year I screwed everybody up. You know, my trajectory was different. And just kind of get the ball rolling, you know. I turned 31 last week, so wow. I'm in the prime, so I'm going to maximize it. Yeah, stay busy. Stay busy. No, more, no more waiting. No more waiting. Yes. I waited enough. Now, if, if people want to get a hold of you, Tony, how can people contact you to get uh, tickets to watching you fight? Hit me up. If you have me on Facebook, Tony Charles. Instagram, Tiger Charles 90 If you have my number, hit me up. I got you. Also, um, I work at the Fort Niner Fit Gym in uh, Saratoga. So if you happen to come through there, I got tickets for you. Are you, you a, a fitness trainer? I am. Personal trainer as well. Oh, shoot. So CJ is also a fitness trainer. Yeah, I'm sure he is. So who's going to be more fit on that day? Well, he, I'll keep it on it. He's, he's bigger. He's got some big muscles. He was scary. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> he might, he might, he might, you know, he might win the, the bodybuilding contest. So, Wow. Well, two fitness trainer going to a battle. Let's see who's more fit. Well, he's got show muscles. I got gold muscles. So. <laughs> Uh, that's pretty awesome. Now, do you have any sponsor, any special loved one, training partner, coaches that you want to shout out to? Uh, shout out to the team, aka everybody that's been with me, um, everybody that supports me in the past, people who wanted to support me, haven't, you know, all the nothing special. <laughs> uh, let's show some love and uh, hopefully you can draw a big crowd since like um, yeah. last couple years pandemic kind of put a lot of things on hold. So I'm very, very glad to bring the live sports event back in action 
another huge event is going to go down on November 13th. This event's live stream pay-per-view nationwide will be also um, live stream at the Mongolian um, ESPN channel in Mongo. So if you guys want to get some eyes on you, this is good publicity to fight for. Um, definitely good opportunity to get your name out there. So uh, we still have a couple more amateur spot left, uh, left open. I'm just trying to fill it. So I'm working on it. Check out the DragonHouseMMA.com, ladies and gentlemen. So all the fight card layout will be updated by next week. So you're going to see who's who fighting on the card. Roughly about 20 fights on this upcoming event. So do not miss it out that we have a lot of overseas fighters coming over here to fight from uh, Korea, uh, uh, Mongolia, uh, Greece. We have a lot of overseas fighters coming over here to fight. So it's definitely going to make, uh, make some noise in the Bay Area. So... Um, do, do not miss it out. So now, if your opponent, CJ Blackman, watching this interview, what do you have to say to him? CJ, I, I really hope you're doing your homework, brother. I've seen you, and um, when the cage door closed, you will not meet Tony Charles. So, Giving us a little bit of prediction, what do you think the fight's gonna go down? It's gonna be a finish. It's gonna be a finish. First round? Probably second, but I win. Submission or TKO? Whatever you give me. <laughs> Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys want to get some, uh, watch some firework, November 13th, you know where to go at Keys Art Pavilion. So please hit up the local guys, support your local fighters, get at them, get a ticket from them, support the regional show. Uh, John Low Cage Fighting Series number two is going down November 13th, the biggest regional show in Northern California. Do not miss it out. And uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give us a little bit of love and support. And follow me on Instagram, dragon underscore house underscore MMA. And um, any last word you want to shout out to anyone else? Hi, Mom. How are you? <laughs> hey, Mom. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. All right, here we go. Tony Taro, ladies and gentlemen, watching him put on a show for you guys November 13th. Yep. Be there. I'm Joe Lowe, signing out.